That's right. One more plug. Uh, yeah, and and I agree. I think that uh, I think that LinkedIn needs to be consistent with your resume. It needs to give the same message. But you know, the resumes that I write are in first person in the summary paragraph, and they do have a mm-hmm. lot of personality because I do yeah. think that it's a thirty second commercial, and you have to grab the reader's attention. I'm not a fan of resume speak. Also, the the incomplete sentences in third person and all of that. I'm not. I'm not a big fan because it doesn't capture the reader's attention. And not so at all. I, need- I do have uh, my clients cut and paste, or I sometimes will do that for them. But my resumes look different, too. So That's why you're the best in the business. It's true. That's yeah. why you're the best. Yeah, no, you've got to, you've got to have something. Like I, I'm going back to content is king. You've got to have something that grabs people's attention. Um, and and it, saying that you're detail-minded, uh, organized, and have great communication skills is not grabbing my attention. <laughs> yeah, you're exactly right. You're exactly right. Uh, and and I consider it, you know, one last thing, I consider the resume a 30-second commercial, and I consider LinkedIn or any kind of online resume as being a 30-minute infomercial that gives a whole lot more information than you can pack onto one page. I would and not disagree with I that. I think that, yeah, yeah, because when people look at a resume, what do they do? They they look you up online. They Google you, and the first thing that comes up is your LinkedIn profile. Mm-hmm. So it, it needs to be consistent, but you can put a lot more in LinkedIn. Absolutely. And it's chronological. So you yep, <laughs> it is. That's right. <laughs> oh, and with that, we'll end it because it's right at 1 o'clock. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? No, i just uh, like to uh, say thanks for uh, uh, inviting me to come and, and talk. I am uh, honored that uh, you would think of me enough to do this, and, and thank you all for listening. And uh, if there's anything I can do for anybody out there, uh, you can contact me through my website, which, again, is thatjobguy.com. Excellent, excellent. And we did have one more question from Lynn about the 10 traits of highly effective job seekers, which is actually next week's call. Uh, We got it a little bit messed up on my website. So, Lynn, if you want to email me at Tammy, T-A-M-M-Y, at beyondjobsearching.com, I'd be happy to give you that list, and I can talk to you personally about that, too. Um, and if anybody else wants to contact me, they can give me a call at 816-600-2478 or at Tammy at BeyondJobSearching.com. And that is it for today. I want to really thank you, Dave. This has been great. You bet. I've had a great time. There's a lot of people who feel that uh, that recruiters are, you know, uh, up in the clouds and you really can't reach them and you don't really know what to do when you – when you do reach them, how do you get their attention? And I think you answered all of those questions. It's been Great. fantastic. Great. So thank well, you. I appreciate thank it. You thank much. you. Thanks again, Tammy. Yeah, and thank everybody on the call. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.